Hola, welcome or welcome back to Kim at Home. Today is a day that I'm just gonna do all kinds of different things around the house. So you're gonna get a little bit of deep cleaning and then just like everyday chores. How to properly clean your bathroom. These walls are about to get washed down. Just to let you know, yeah, we're gonna do this and I don't have the best angles in here, but we're gonna get this handled a I would like to welcome all of those who are first timers. You know, the first time that you actually clicked on my channel and watched the video. Welcome. I am Kim with a Y, K-Y-M. This is my home and you're just like gonna watch me clean, I guess. Or you're gonna clean with me, right? On my channel, I like to do things that are pertaining to home life. Cooking, cleaning, shopping. I try not to do shopping hauls because I'm not the best. <laughs> Consider joining my YouTube family. We're called the Keep Up Crew. Everything smells so fresh in here. I am. Um, the angles are really bad, so you guys did not get to see everything. However, I did clean the floor and the doors as well. Well, one door. So yeah, anyway, everything is clean. Sometimes you gotta just wash them walls down, girl, okay? So here is the water from the wall. It doesn't look too bad. It's not like super, super dirty. Just a lot of dust particles. Moving right along to my entryway, hallway, and kitchen, I need to sweep and mop. I will be mopping the floor with vinegar. All of the cleaning products are listed below in the description box. How are you doing today? It has been an unseasonably warm November in Ohio. It has been amazing. Let me know where you're located and how the weather is in your area. Let's see how good you can see the dirt, the crud, the food, because y'all know we cook all the time over here. We typically cook about three times a day in my household between myself, my daughter, and my husband. Somebody's always making something to eat. I am curious to know how often you have to deep clean your stove. I find myself doing this like every two weeks. I mean, you know, we do cook a lot and it just gets a lot of dirt buildup in food. Dawn Power Wash and a little bit of vinegar to get this cleaned up. For obvious reasons, I'm using the Dawn Power Wash, and then for the vinegar, it basically is gonna shine everything up and make sure that there are no streaks left behind. Vinegar is also a natural disinfectant, so it's disinfecting everything as well. When you're cleaning off these inserts, be sure to clean every single crack and crevice on the front and the back. It just really holds a lot of buildup and crud from like food spilling and also just dust particles in the air. I wanted to share a moment with you guys about someone who extended kindness and did not even realize it and probably still does not until she actually, you know, watches my video and hears what I have to say. <laughs> I recently went to a friend's house and she asked me to come in. She said, hey, you have that black accent wall, right? You never painted over it. And I'm like, no. So she was like, come upstairs. I have something to show you. 
I go upstairs and she has one of her walls painted black in her bedroom. First of all, I like that black better than the black that I chose, but the fact that she wanted me to come look at it was really touching. And I know that might sound like, you know, nothing to you, but to me it was big. Saying all of that to say, everyone has a lot going on in their lives. This world that we live in is real special. We're not even gonna get into that. So just little things like that make people happy. Like it made me happy, it like made my day. <laughs> For someone to actually be excited about the wall that they painted and they were so excited that they wanted to show me because we had already spoken about it in the past, that's big. Be sure when you go out into this world to offer some sort of kindness to someone, whether you open the door or whether you just say hello. You just never know what people are going through. After I thoroughly cleaned the stove off with vinegar, so I thought, I saw a few grease splatters, so I wanted to make sure that I got that cleaned up. I used the method degreaser because that stuff is the bomb. And this, my friend, is what thorough cleaning looks like. Look how shiny my stove is. Shiny like a new penny, okay? All of that cleaning made me hungry, so I'm just gonna show you what I'm cooking. And I know what you're thinking. How are you gonna cook something on your stove when you literally just finished cleaning it? Well, that's what normally happens in life. So yeah, this is real life, just to let you know. So I've made this on my channel before. It is a meat pie, so I'm not gonna go like in depth with you, but basically it's just a meat, you know, season it the way that you like to season it. I like to season it with like taco stuff, my own taco seasoning, and then I wrap it in a croissant. Be sure you mix it very well. I sprayed the pan with Pam. Oh my gosh, that is a tongue twister. <laughs> I don't know what kind of Pam it is, but it's for like the oven, so I'm assuming it has a little bit of oil on it. I typically put cheese on top of the meat before I put the other layer of crust on top, but my daughter Brie doesn't eat cheese and she was eating half of this. That is something I will miss, 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 miss. How do you feel for one more kiss? Loving you was such a bliss, bliss, bliss. We're not talking anymore. Here's what we're looking like and I did add sour cream. It was the bomb. And I only eat on fine china. I opened this heating plate earlier to get some dishes out and I was like, ooh, ooh girl, that needs clean. It hasn't been cleaned in like seven months probably. I think that's the last time I did a video where I actually cleaned it. Yeah, I'm sure it's been that long. <laughs> so I'm gonna wipe it out with vinegar and a Clorox wipe and also some method degreaser. Now this is gonna leave streaks because the oven is not even cooled off enough for me to be doing this, but I wanted to get it handled. So it's like heat streaks. I can't even be mad about that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Moving 
along to my bedroom. My chair has so many clothes in it, so I'm just gonna throw them on the bed and I'm going to fold them. Now this is like 11 p.m. at night, so I have night clothes on, so you're not gonna see me at all. <laughs> My secret is out that I don't care for doing laundry, but I was like laughing at this moment. Most of those clothes were not even mine, so I was able to disperse them to the needed people and then just work on the towels and my things. Now that's what I call doing laundry. All that other stuff is for the birds. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time out to watch my video today. I truly appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Please do not forget to hit subscribe before you leave out. It really does help my channel. How does this happen? How is there just one sock? Matter of fact, how does this happen? I mean, for real, like, None of these socks matched, although they were all washed in pairs. Riddle me that, Batman. Be sure to turn on that notification bell because I have so many great videos coming up. And yes, I am buying spray paint. Imagine that. Here are some other items that I picked up while I was at Lowe's. Y'all know that's my store to go to when I need cleaning supplies. Thank you again for watching. Bye guys. Love.